Hey everybody, this is Mo Fine, and I'm going to teach you today how to make a postcard with your um, with your vacation photos. The first thing you want to do uh, is you want to find, know the size that this postcard is going to be, and that is going to be determined by uh, the printer. Um, where I get my stuff printed at is a place called Moo. They have really good quality stuff, uh, really nice user friendly website, and um, they're pretty friendly too. And so what I did is I went to Moo and I navigated my way to uh, the product that I want to eventually print, which is going to be postcards. And then I went to uh, to the place where it would tell me the dimensions of this uh, postcard. And uh, what they recommend is 1795 by 1287 in pixels. So that means I want it to, your they want your design to be 1795 pixels wide by 1287 pixels uh, in the height. And then they say 300 DPI, and that's the print quality. And 300 is, is a good print quality. Um, you're going to get a lot of detail and uh, pretty vibrant colors. You know, for example, if you put if you had something at 72 DPI, um, that's that's going to have a lot less detail when you print it, and it's not going to be as good a quality. So you want to make it 300. Now this is all going to make even more sense when you go back into Photoshop. The first thing, you, what you want open in Photoshop is you want this um, toolkit. You want your you might not have this yet. I have it because I actually have some pictures up. But once you open open a photograph, you are also going to get this uh, big, basically, palette, which is going to hold all your different um, canvases. And um, over here, you're going to want your layers palette. Now you're going to want a history palette. Uh, let's say you don't want something. We're not going to need the character palette for now. So you said, let's say you have a bunch of palettes open or a bunch of these tabs open that you don't want. You just you know click on it. And you can like right click on the tab and you can say close. Okay, and uh, and that's uh, you know, and that's how you would just clean it up. So I recommend when you're starting this assignment, just have the toolkit, the layers, and the history. And um, if you go to window at the top, if you're missing one of these, you can just go down to the window and um, and, and click on click on the, the one that you're missing. So if you're missing layers, you would click on it. Okay. So try and clean that up as much as you can and get used to moving these palettes around and, and spend a few minutes kind of um, moving them around and stuff. You can see also if I grab this history tab and I, I don't want it to be, I want it to kind of cons uh, conserve my real estate, I can grab this tab and just drag it up next to the layers and you can see a blue box forms around the layers palette and I just drop the history in there and now we got, it's basically one, it's like a filing cabinet that has these folders in it and these folders have these files. That's how I kind of like think of it. That's how I keep it organized in my head. Okay, well the first thing you're going to want to do, we're going to make something like this. We're going to have one uh, one portrait picture and two um, landscape ones, okay? And uh, what we want to do is we first, the first thing is you want to create a new blank canvas to put these photos because this is what they look like before they were this. So we got to create a blank canvas that's this size. So you go file, Make, uh, what you want to do first of all is make um, be in this tool right here, this top tool. It's called the Move tool, and it's a very handy tool. It allows you to do things like the following step: uh, File, New, and then this dialog box opens up, and the, you just want to go through it slowly. And you know this says give it a name, so we'll call this um, we'll call this Vacation Postcard. And then it says uh, give it a size. Well. I wrote it down, and I think it's really good to write it down, because uh, you forget. I forget. I mean, maybe you won't forget, but I forget. And I'll be going back and forth to the website, and it's just best if you write it down, and it's right in front of you. And all you have to do is type it in the spot, 1795 by 1287, and a resolution of 300. Right here, I mean, Moog gave you the answer to all these. The only thing that um, might kind of trip you up a little bit is if this happens to be on inches or something like that. And we don't want inches. We're not dealing with inches, and we don't have to worry about that at all. It's all about print. I mean, it's all yeah, it's all about printing this up um, online with a digital file. So pixels. Make sure it's in pixels and uh, and 300 pixels per inch. RGB for your color. Don't worry about these other ones. These are just different color modes. Um, you just want to make sure it's an RGB. Um, and then you want the background contents. That means we're just going to create a blank slate. And I'm going to hit OK. And then what happens is uh, a tab shows up alongside the other ones, and it's totally blank. Another thing that happens is a new layers palette is uh, is formed. And you can see right here, background, that's this. OK? So now 
what we want to do is we want to start getting these photos on here. Well, the thing is, if I let's take this this one right here. I'm gonna make them a little smaller so you can see them. Uh, let's just take this guy and drag him to that blank canvas and see what happens. I'm not. This is in its natural format. I haven't resized it at all. So what you want to do is you just want to grab it with your mouse. Make sure you're in that move tool, which is the top tool, and drag it on top of the tab that says vacation postcard. That's the blank one we just created. When I drop it in, you see it pretty much hogs up the whole thing, and that doesn't leave a lot of room for the other two photos. Okay, so um, let's not do this there. So what we can do is we can go over to the layers palette, and we can grab the layer, and what you do is you just drag it to this trash can, and boom, now we're just back to one layer here, which is great. Now let's go to the original do with hat that we brought in. And um, because I did, just quickly, how you bring in a photo, I showed you how to create a new canvas. If you want to bring in a photo, you just go File, Open, and then, you know, you navigate, you know, through your uh, Finder. Or uh, if you're on a Windows, you navigate through the Windows to, to find where your photos are um, that you want to bring in. Okay, so back to him. So what we want to do is resize him so he's more manageable or at least less obtrusive on, on that other canvas. He's got to make room for other other photos. So we go to image, image size. And now you can see the image size of this. It's 1920 by 1080, and the resolution is 180. It also gives you document size, which has to do with, if you printed this document as is, it would be 10 by 6. Well, we know we're doing a postcard that's probably like 6 by 5 or something. So we, we, we definitely want to bring this down, but we don't have to worry about uh, inches. All we have to think about is the pixel dimension in relation to the other pixel dimensions of our blank card. So let's just, you know, it's a lot of guesswork going on. It's it's an art form in itself, resizing, but I'll call this 1200 and see what that looks like. And it's probably going to look pretty good. You know, I've done this a few times, so I'm getting used to it, but every every project's different, and sometimes it, it takes a little trial and error. But you can drag that on top of that uh, tab, and when you drop it in there, you know, that's pretty good. And there's, sure, if I just even it up, that's not a lot of room for this picture or this picture, but I think I'm probably going to end up cropping him a little bit. I can just do that by the edge of this postcard. Okay? So we'll just put him right there. Actually, let's put him on the bottom because that's where he belongs. This one looks better on the bottom. And as you notice in your layers palette, um, there it is. There's a layer called Layer 1. Now let's go to, to what's something called the spoilers. Whoa! What is that? What are these people wearing? Ask me about the Tumbleweed Film Festival, tumbleweedfilmfest.com. Hmm. You know, this is the barter fair, and um, it is totally wrong. It's totally wrong to go there and market, market your stuff. I don't know what these people are thinking. They're ruining the barter fair. Oh, the good old days are gone. But anyways, it's all right. I, I, we'll forgive them, and we're going to put them on this card because uh, those shirts are, are pretty, pretty cool. So um, what we want to do is uh, we want to resize this one too. And you know what? That other one looked pretty good. And I'm, so I'm going to call this one 1200 also since it's going right underneath there. Shrinks it up. I go back to the move tool. And then I drag it on top of the postcard. And boom, I drop this one in here. And you've noticed over in the layers palette, a layer 2 is created. And that's this one. You can see kind of if you look over in the corner of the layers palette, you can see it's moving around while I move it. So it's... A direct correlation with this image and the reason you have these different layers is so you can apply different effects to them you can put a drop shadow on it and as long as you, you're highlighted on one the when you want to manipulate it you're only only manipulating that particular layer and that's pretty much the the gist behind layers is that you can do all, multiple things onto one on one canvas to different objects and you can you know, get pretty cool with that and then the next one is wizard with drum Okay, so he's going to be kind of big too. So let's resize him. He's a little odd because he's, you know, going uh, vertical. But let's bring let's bring him down to like ah uh, let's bring him down 900 and see what happens. Okay, and then drag him up to vacation. And then I'm going to drop him in there. Oh boy, he's pretty big. But let's see if I just move him around a little bit. You know what? That looks pretty good. So I'm not going to worry about resizing him because I kind of like it like that anyways. So anyway, so here you go, and you got your three layers now. So if I click on layer one, you can see I can now move layer one, and none of the other ones move. If I click on layer three, that corresponds with this one. 
So, you know, that's how layers works. And um, that's all you really need to know for now is if you can bring three pictures in here and kind of get a feel for how these layers move around, you're going to be you're going to be doing really good. In another tutorial, we'll show you how to label them. We'll show you how to manipulate each one of these separately. But at this point, you know, you, ha you have a postcard, at least one side of it. And you would just go File, Save As, choose your file type. Um, you might want to do it as a, J as a JPEG for, uh, for something like Moo. And you just hit JPEG, you give it a name, and then you um, save it. You save it where you need to save it um, so, you, so you remember where it's at. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning into this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. We're going to be doing a whole war workshop on vacation photos. Um, not just making collages, but how to do color correction and... He's swapping out palm trees for ski slopes and all kinds of fun stuff uh, that'll be uh, practical for you to use and will also help you uh, learn the basics of Photoshop on the way. So uh, check out our schedule at www.bigpictureworkshops.net and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks.